no further ado, please let me introduce you to one of the pillars of hip hop. He's a writer, producer, <laughs> Karis One. We're gathered, to, what, what we think is the black community is a group of people gathered together because of outside oppression and threat. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> we're, we're all threatened and oppressed, so we all just come together. But uh, no, there's no black constitution. Even if, if you say a black community, you know, it, it, even when you go to a black community, everybody's in the black community. Even when I was growing up, what they called the ghetto, the black community, they had everybody in the community, Greeks, Italians. We had everybody in the hood. Everybody was there. This, this designation of, of black uh, is really what the confusion is to begin with. Um, imperialism, colonialism. This causes violence in every colony. Every colony is going to have this kind of threat with it because of the nature of the colony, the birth of the colony. Colonialism tries to make robbery, theft, and murder normal. We're living in robbery, theft, and murder right now. Right now, as you walk outside the door, if you really want to know the history of England, <sighs> Okay, if you really want to know how this place became what it oh. is, okay. <sighs> so this is a colony. This is not civilization. We may call it that because we have lights and computers and cars and planes, but that's technology. Civilization is something completely different. If, if we were living in a civilization... Then you, then, then you could ask the question, why are we all killing each other? We live in a civilization. No. We live in a technological colony. Mm. So when, when you're living in a colony run by technology, there's no room for humanity. Yes. And so, oh, I, so I, true. I'm not communicating with you as a human being. I don't care you black, white, don't, don't matter. Technology has given me the ability to be an individual. And that individuality, I'm going to conquer you with my individual. I'm, I'm competing with you anyway. I didn't get into capitalism, the nature of the system itself. There must be scarcity. Somebody got to be on the bottom. Few people on the top, the 1%, the 3%, the 5%. All of this causes violence. All of it. it it's the cause of it. So you have to ask yourself, you know, you, see, you walk down the street, you see somebody walk down the street, they drop $100. Now, the capitalist system says, that's your hundred. Go get that hundred. They dropped it legitimately. They lost it. As far as they're concerned, they don't have it no more. You saw them drop the hundred. Now, either you go and pick it up and put it in your pocket and be a capitalist, or you go say, sir, miss, you dropped your hundred dollars. Oh, thank you. And you get nothing for it. But there's a one percent. There's a ten percent that sees you dropping your hundred. No, you're right. And they'll just take it. Oh, they'll take advantage, yeah. And take full advantage. The rule of capitalism is scarcity. Something has to be rare and scarce to have value. Mm. So if you're played on the radio every single day and people have large access to your music, like online and this, they could just stream it, you're valueless. You have no value, and that's what's happened to a lot of artists. They put their music online, and of course you get heard by a lot of people, but it's Napster that gets the 19 million a day. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, you know, Spotify, you know, whoever you're putting your music through, they're the ones that's really getting the money. You're getting a, a fraction of, of what your music is really worth. So that character within society, th that is the real issue. Uh, race capitalism, colonialism, these are systems yeah. on your, your person. They're not your person. We can't get away from the fact that regardless of colonialism, regardless of capitalism, I'm still beating my brother over the head and trying to take his wallet. Mm -hmm. That cannot be, there's no social contract theory for that. Uh, that's your personal character. Uh, when people criticize hip hop in that way, sure, you know, this is what it is. This is, you're right. Why are we looking like this? Why are we acting like this? Why? But that why leads you to the solution. But why are we? Well, because of this, 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 and this. So let's deal with this, 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 and this. We all want to be great. Everyone is striving to be great, to move to their excellence. This is a human trait outside of race. We all want to be great at what we do. But when in a society, 
that promotes violence and injustice, it's harder for the white community to stay just than it is for those who are the victims of injustice. What do you mean? Can you break that down for me a little bit more? So let's now take, uh, oh, let's take you and I. Okay. So let's say we're both artists. This is hypothetical. We're okay. both, uh, we're painting artists. A person comes to us and says, here's a paint, brush, easel, canvas. Excuse me. Paint, brush, easel, canvas. And then says, I'm going to come back in three days. I need a, a masterpiece on this canvas when I get back in three days. We both have the skill set. We're different races, but we have the same skill set. We're both artists. This guy says, produce a masterpiece when, when I come back in three days. Then that same dude comes over to me, breaks all my brushes, puts a hole in my canvas, takes all my paint and leaves me with only the color black. You have everything. Mm -hmm. Full easel paintbrush, paints to choose from. On top of that, someone comes and feeds you every day. Me? Nobody came to feed me anything. I'm still trying to find blue and red. I only have black. I'm trying to make a canvas. My canvas is ripped. My paintbrush, I'm working with half a paintbrush, and three days go by. The gentleman comes back in. Now, where's the masterpiece? I turn my thing around, and it's a full masterpiece. You turn yours around. It's a full masterpiece. But which masterpiece is more valuable? The one that the person had everything to eat, everything for them, everything worked out, and of course you produced the masterpiece. Or the one who had nothing yet still produced the masterpiece. A guy named Buckminster Fuller, he, he once came up with an idea that said, don't fight against systems. Create other systems that make that system obsolete. Mm. So it's don't, you see something going wrong, don't go against that. Figure that out some other way. But if it's really a problem, create another system. You know what's wrong, so you know what's right. Mm -hmm. Do the right over here and make this wrong obsolete.